Look at that envelope. <laughs> Double jewelry boxes. These are all wallets. 18 karat. Mm. Tiffany and Company sterling. 14 karat right there. This is all silver. Ooh, stones. stones. Guess what? We're back here again at this $700 monster of a storage unit that we barely even put a dent in yesterday. Let's do it. Today we are getting into this locked briefcase, I swear. So let's start getting these boxes right here. Last time there was a really weird mix. Like a lot of boxes were complete junk. And then a lot of boxes were super nice jewelry, nice artwork, hunting decoys, things like that. So this we established that this storage unit was definitely packed up super fast by a moving company. So everything is just thrown in here. Good, the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> like this. This looks like it's gonna be Somebody's what paperwork. What is this thing now? All the way over here. Eaton's course. Typewriter paper. Typewriter paper, man. We've been finding floppy disks. Like every type of technology we found in this unit is from like the 90s or 80s at least. So this box has walnut china cabinet in on it. So, and master bedroom. So I don't really know which one to believe. But let's find out. Well, we got a lot of packing paper, that's for sure. Let's see what's in it. What do you think? Everything's wrapped. Hmm. Uh, dishware. What is it? Crystal? Box. It I rings to is. me. It rings to me. I think that so is. So this might be a whole crystal thing. Let's open a couple more pieces to see if that's what it all is. Come here, buddy. Looks like the same thing to me. Listen. Oop. Hear that ring? Crystal. And one Crystals. more. <laughs> oh, look. What's that at the bottom? It's a giant, like, picnic basket down there. But in order for me to get that out, I have to move all this glass. So we can see that it's a picnic basket and a crystal set. Now let's pull out the first of these like weird wooden briefcase looking things. Listen. Sounds like coins or something. It says 1996 on it, but how do we get this open? I took the screwdriver because I thought I was going to be smart, but I'd have to like jam it in here. Oh, oh there you that go. was easy. Let's see. What are those? Tiles? Like sample tiles? Well, that's not what I was hoping it would be. Who would expect it to be full of sample tiles? Not me. Now look at this one. This one looks like a legitimate, just regular briefcase, but it's just made of wood. That's weird. You think the code's zero, zero, zero? Uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, well. All right, well, at least we don't have to break it. That's yes, a positive. It is. <laughs> Let's see what's in it. Uh, it looks like paper, huh? The money, though? You gotta look in the envelope. Now, what is this? It's business cards? Paper, 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 paper. What's this? We got a million dollars. Oh. Um. What about that? What is that? Customer original print. Other oh, pictures. And this one looks like it's gonna be all paperwork too. What is this thing now? What is that? <laughs> glasses. glasses. Why is it so tiny? I don't know. They look like glass cases, but I've never seen one that small. So yeah, this one is actually paperwork. Let's see what's in this box. It's super heavy, so I'm gonna assume some kind of books or paper, unfortunately, but you know what? Books are okay, paper's not. Let's see what it is. Let's see Christmas. Get out, get. Actually, these are like placemats. I thought this was like wrapping paper or something. These are like what you put on the table to eat on. And then we got, well, a hoard of, well, look at that. that. <laughs> Supper time. That's kind of cool. Little peanuts thing. So, is there some cookbooks in here? Whoa, there's a lot of old books, all right. Is that a book? What is this red box? It doesn't look like a book, does it? No. Recipes. Let's see? Oh, wow. We're gonna make... Stuffed mushrooms. Ew, no, we're not. Of course you are, nope. you want that. Nope, or no shrimp, Ew, no melon. Where's something like bad? Very <laughs> unhealthy. And... Pizza chips. Now this is way too healthy for me in my life. <laughs> so we're not doing that. And then there's just also a bunch more books. We got the next box here. Let's see what's in this one. Fragile. It is, uh, it looks like dirty papers, but. Oh look, stamps. Another stamp collection maybe? Yeah, look. They're like individually wrapped. They even got the one cent ones. The penny stamps are where some money could be because they are old. Are these, uh, each one of these like oil, whatever you want to call them, envelopes are labeled. Yeah. They, Labeled with years and some prices too. Like I saw a one cent, two cent. So cool hmm. stamps. Let's put those right there. That's just a bill. I don't care about some of these bills. Ooh, look at that envelope. 
<laughs> you just, that's a good sign when you see those in blue. Ooh, look. It's more stamps. Lots of stamps. Wow. So like a whole stamp collection, maybe. So now let's pull out some of this paperwork and see if it's all stamps or if it's paper, or like personal stuff. This is just a somebody's certificate. Drop it right there, it'll be all right. Uh, what is that? Ew. What is that? A sponge? I don't know. Hey, are these in here? State put quarters. Hey. We have some. Hey. We have some. Look. Ooh, let's Little see. Well, not very many. Yeah. We got like a dollar fifty cents. <laughs> <laughs> these. Nothing. I always find these without the quarters. Like you very rarely find the quarters in them. Ooh, this is sealed. What do we got? What do we got? Come on. Oh. So what are what other kind of coins? What is this? Is this a coin book? Is this a photo album? It's of an unused photo album. Hmm. Oh. Well, we're dropping quarters. quarters. Hey, there's quarters. Okay, they might have had the quarters in them. Look on the bottom of the box. Quarters, quarters, quarters everywhere. There's all kinds of quarters in here. Look at these envelopes right here. Oh. <laughs> Three cent stamps sorted. Hmm. Okay. Let's open it up. Yeah, they're not joking. Look at this. Wow. There's like multiple bands in here of just stamps. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I'm guessing this is more of the same. I like how these envelopes look. Yeah, no, they just look old. I even see some Washington stamps in there. Cool. Andrew Jackson. So a lot of historic figures. Let's move this stuff over here. I want to get to all the money at the bottom. Literally. Oh, whoa. Is just this... Throw all that other stuff away. Look at that. That's interesting looking. Come on. Is this all stamps or what? These are like letters. Maybe they kept the envelopes because of the stamps. What's this thing? What is that? Hmm. Let's just open one of these envelopes and see. I'm curious. Just genuinely curious. If this is just old envelopes. Yeah, they're just old envelopes. So yeah, that's my only guess too is what you're saying. Maybe they kept them because they had stamps on them and they didn't want to cut them out. So that's my guess. We got more paperwork. And like I said at the bottom, there's quarters everywhere. Look. One. Ah, come here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Four eight. Stamps. Four cent same stored sorted right there. Yeah, look, here's more stamps right here. Another envelope of stamps. And then you just have quarters all over the bottom of the box. Look at this. Like I thought it was one or two, but no, that map might have actually been complete. It might have just fell apart from being inside the box. Look, the picture. So there's a another thing of stamps, I'm assuming. Let's make sure of that. Make sure there's not no cash hidden. Nope. All stamps. Right there, and pictures and certificates. So, we finally got a box that has money in it though. Let's see what's in the calculator box. But before we do that guys, make sure you take two seconds and leave this video a thumbs up. Please, it helps us out a ton. And of course, we beg you, just share it or it helps us out a lot. Now let's see what's in here. Is this all sewing? This looks like it might be a lot of sewing stuff. I thought it looked like thread. I don't know what this stuff is. Maybe see those little metal thread? things? Yeah, there's thread yeah, in here Yeah, maybe for sure. it goes into a sewing machine. Huh, maybe. I don't know anything about sewing. So, that thing. I mean, it's all Singer, so. Yeah, look. Singer, what does that say? Stocking something? Darner. Darner, it's in there, whatever it is. What's this thing? Oh, there's a pair of scissors in there that just came out. So, looks like this is going to be full of, like, Vintage crafting look down there. Is that the machine itself? Oh no, it's this thing. What is that? Let's see. Hmm, I have no idea. Is that a sewing machine? So it looks like the whole box all the way down is just different pieces of vintage sewing equipment, needles, thread, things like that. So if you guys think we should put something like that in our auction, make sure you let us know down in the comments. This box actually says bronze sculpture. Ooh, plus photo paper, but I want the bronze sculpture. Personally, what's in here? These photos. These are cards. Let's just look in there. No, nothing. So, this must be the photo album. Is it actually full of photos? It looks like it is, isn't it? But maybe not. I can't tell. Are these some of these photos? Are these like old papers? I don't see no photos in there. Nope. It's weird. There's a lot of weird old stuff in this. Interesting. It's like a little time capsule. And that's just. Christmas cards. This album. Oh, wow. This one feels full. Yeah. This one's loaded with pictures. So we'll make sure that one goes back to the owner. Ooh. Look down here. Oh, man. He's heavy. Whoa. Whoa. 
Ooh, feel the weight of this guy. Holy crap. No, not even kidding you. That's like 20 pound statue. Whoa. Right there. If that's bronze, that's worth a lot, quite a bit of money. We gotta get this stuff off, like the packing, whatever he's been packed in all this time, it's starting to fall apart on him, but that is super cool. This one has a double label as well. I never know what to trust. It says Roy's clothing, sweatshirts, swimsuits, and then over here it says more sewing stuff and gym clothes. So let's just hope it's more sewing stuff. And I see clothes. We don't want to look at the clothes, but there's definitely stuff underneath the clothes. Whoa. Hey. Ooh, look what I see. Double jewelry boxes. <laughs> Let's see what's in this one. Ooh, well, definitely got some jewelry in it. Look at this like turquoise color bracelet. And what's the pen say? IBD. And that? <laughs> I don't even know what that one's <laughs> called. Art. That beautiful art. And this one, wrong way. Oh, look, that's not even jewelry. That's actually all thread. So I think we should definitely have a couple, at least one sewing lot at our auction. We'll probably put it all together. What's in the brown bag? Oh my gosh, it's all thread and scissors for sewing. We have so much sewing stuff already. Is that something for sewing too? Electric Two speed electric scissors. scissors. Huh, that sounds dangerous. Uh, let's see if there's anything else below. The rest of this, look these are like, what, buttons and stuff? These look like earrings. They are. Those are all old earrings in here. Tons of them. So there's tons more jewelry. Oh wow. There's all sewing stuff down below too. So this whole box is literally just jewelry and sewing stuff. So I was about to just go ahead and move this box because it looked like all paperwork and there's something wrapped up. What is that the jawbone of? That definitely looks like a jawbone of something, but this size what? An elephant? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it has flat teeth, so it's probably something that eats plants. So, literally, you think that could be an elephant's jaw? <laughs> I'm I have like no loss. idea. I feel like it's not as big as an elephant. It might be like more like a tiger size. Moose? But it's like I said, it's yeah, got the flat size, teeth. Yeah, size. Yeah. So whatever it is, it's probably an herbivore. But that's I don't know. That was just very weird to find in a pile of files. Can somebody please help me out? So we just pulled this thing out, and I have no clue what this could even be it has no spot for like legs that i see so i was thinking it might be a table or a desk but there's like no spot for legs you can tell by over here whatever it is it's super old but i just don't have the slightest clue to what this thing is it's like wood on the outside and like another darker wood on the inside but and there's stars i'm so lost like star designs on it i've been trying to figure this out for like five straight minutes and i just don't <laughs> have a clue somebody please help me this tub looks like it has a lot of new stuff in it so Let's see what that is. Are these like curtains or? They are curtains, look. I mean, they're only from TJ Maxx so they're not gonna be expensive, but still, that's new. Look at the colors, that's cool. And then we have, one. Okay, this one's opened, <laughs> but still, it's new. It has that new smell. You know that new fabric smell? That's got it. Are these all new? This one's never been taken out either. And then there's one here that's like that out of the like bag. The other one. Oh, it might be the one that's open. What are these? A natural American spirit. What? Oh, there's cigarette. cigarette. Metal cigarette cartons? I've never seen that before. Oh, wow. Well, they, they got a lot of them, all right. Did you smoke much? Maybe a little bit. Once a day, once a week. What is this? This is something spirit cigarettes. Oh, it's a lighter. It goes with it, isn't it? Cool. I've never even seen metal cigarette containers, so maybe those are worth something, I hope. So I was just curious, I just put them in on eBay, and they're actually selling for between $9.99, 10 bucks, and $13 a piece, and we have eight of them, so at a bare minimum, that's an 80 to a over $100 little tote right there. So this box says, I was about to say bed, this box says bedroom, two dish receiver on it, and it also says clock from the living room, and it also says Johnson, so I don't know. Uh, looks like it's gonna be the receivers, for what it looks like there. There's a power strip, there's a couple of remotes, and these are Philips, do you see a thing on it? Digital multi-satellite receiver, direct TV. It's only one though, it says receivers, but there's only one in the box. You know, I almost just put this box aside because it said tack boards on it, which I was assuming like the little things you put the pins on, and it felt super heavy, so I was like, let's cut it open and see. And I cut it open, and yeah, it doesn't look like tack boards. No. These look like some type of wallet, which may or may not, what was the year on that? Doesn't say, but it has something in it, all right. What though? Oh, super old pictures. Really old. I mean, look at those. Old pictures are cool. They are, like I said, I usually don't show pictures, but the really old black and white ones, people buy them for crafting and stuff. So, 
They're gonna be for sale most likely anyway, so I'm just gonna show you the really old ones. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Sterling silver clasp with like a pearl necklace. Whoa. It says right there. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna set that aside over here. What is this guy? Nothing. Automobile insurance. <laughs> is that like an old insurance thing? Oh, maybe this is something you put in the glove compartment in your car. Whoa. I like looking at all the know. old school stuff. It's just cool. What is this little thing? Ooh, you hear that? I wish they had a lock on it. That would have made it more interesting. But then we would have to break it, so. Ooh, what's that? I gotta open this first. Folded envelopes. I like fold. Ooh, you see the dust just come off it? Yeah. And it's actually sealed. What's in it? That's the question. It's rock. What? Straight up. It's just broken rock. Uh. I hope that's, <laughs> I really hope that's not ashes. And that's not bone. Cause that'll make me sick. But like, what What else would you keep that for? I don't know. Why, but if it is, who would put it in a manila envelope? I mean, I gotta have some faith in humanity. Maybe not much, but some. What is this a bee? Uh, I think it's soap. What's this then? Something's in there. Oh, never mind. Just heavy on the top. And okay. Mm -hmm. Weird. No. What is this? Is this a stool or a box? Uh, uh -oh, it's a little stool. miniature stool. It's missing half of it. And this right here. Oh, sparkly stuff in there. I see one of these silver boxes. Some of these are sterling too. Oh look. It's got a little ring in it too. That's interesting. Is this all jewelry and stuff? Are these all purses? Look at that. This is a very weird yeah. material. Feel that. <laughs> it's weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. This is weird. Oh. Well, paper. I'm seeing more like jewelry looking boxes in here. What's this one? Oh, just a little frame. Uh, what are these all purses? Why are they all such a weird material? <laughs> oh, you feel like that material? I get, ah. Uh, that. Hmm. Well, look in here. You see this? These are all wallet. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything in any of them. Nope, that's like a makeup bag actually. And this one is, no, they're all just old. Like, why'd you keep them? It's like they get new ones and then instead of throwing the old one away, you put it in a box, in an address book. <laughs> Let's open a couple of these cards. Like one, we'll just look at one, make sure there's nothing there. Oh, they're out of the envelope, so yeah, they've 100% been opened. No point in wasting our time there. What's this, pineapple bulbs? <laughs> Is it real? Uh is there anything in there? That's what a pineapple bulb looks like? Uh, uh yes. All right, <laughs> learn something new every day, every day. Let's see what these are. And there's something silver wrapped up down there too. I'll grab it. Beat. What's this? Something cool, something cool, come on. It's like necklaces and stuff. A lot of jewelry, the amount of jewelry found in this unit is ridiculous. But they did craft it, I think, so. Makes sense. This is what you're talking about? Yeah, I couldn't tell if it was silver. It looks shiny. It looks glass. I might have to cut the bubble wrap off it so we can see what's in it all the way. Open you. Hmm. There's stuff in it. Yeah, whatever it is, it's definitely not empty. So that's a positive. There it is. So on the bottom it says handcrafted in Via Vermont, Mexico. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's some jewelry in here, all right. Look see, at that. See a ring. Let's take this one here. No! Well. <laughs> Come back to me. Come back. Oh my gosh, where did it go? It went into the abyss. What about this one? Is that a ring? Yeah. Or a necklace? No, that's a ring. It's an earring, actually. No. That is so annoying. That's like, when you know when you drop something in your car? Like if you drop your phone in your car, you basically just accept it and gotta go buy a new one. <laughs> it's marked in there, all right. Hold on, I can't see what it's marked, though. 18 carat, baby. Ooh. 18 carat right there. Nice. Boom. So that's awesome. Let me set this down here too. I'm seeing with the knife so I don't stab myself. Or me. This is more costume type jewelry. What's in this one? Hmm. I'll open that too. Eh, this one looks like it's ceram wrapped. Should just be able to do this. Yeah. Look at the top. It's weird looking. Same type of thing though. Oh, look. You see what that says though? Tiffany. Tiffany and Company Sterling. I can't focus on it, it's too shiny. But yeah, that's Tiffany Sterling Heart. So that's awesome right there. There's a whole bunch of wrapped up stuff down here. Hold on, let me set some of the purses. 
and wallet things we already opened over here. Oh yeah, look at this. Wow. Look at the pure quantity of what's wrapped up. What is it? There's no way these are all boxes. This one is not opening easily, so let's get it open with the knife. Did I mention it's like 97 degrees outside? Yeah, it's very hot. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> and we have to move this whole thing. So, okay, so it's not gonna be all jewelry. This is like a, bathroom I don't even know. Folder. Yeah, bathroom type thing. I don't know, it looks like something for a bathroom. Um, this is a jewelry box, isn't it? Nope, nothing's in it. What about this? What are those, lenses? They look like camera lenses. Yeah. Uh, whoa. Ooh, what's that? Is that the camera? And this too. Let me see if there's anything else down there first. I'm not seeing nothing else, so whatever's here is it. This first. What the heck? What is it, like a sand thing? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I Close even tell shaver. All right, closed shaver. And this, I think this could be our camera. Nope. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa. Bracelets too. Let's see, is this marked? Not that I'm seeing right off the bat. But these rope ones, a lot of times, they don't make fakes of those, so. I mean, it's all a tangled mess right now, so I'm not gonna be able to get it apart to go through it, but there's a good possibility that at least one piece in there is actual gold. So I just pulled apart some of the necklaces and it looks like we got one in there. This one's marked 14 karat right there. The only one. The other one, there's another one in there, it's marked um, Napier, Napier, have you pronounced that jewelry brand, which I'm pretty sure is costume jewelry, but still, we got one. We got here in the next box, this one says poker, so. Poker? Yeah, poker, and it does look like it's gonna be poker. Well, this doesn't look like poker, but this looks like. Look at the little cute mini coat. The all <laughs> card decks, look wow. at that. All the way through, what's the ones that are in the pack? Stud, Stud. pinhole poker. Wow, yeah. these are old. You know, you know they're old. Huh. No barcode. No barcode. No barcode. They're freaking old. That's cool. Let me set this right here. And well, I don't know what this is. Is this something to do with <clears throat> poker? Metro furniture? No. No. That's just thrown in there. This right here. Whoa. There's a whole match collection down there. But look at this. Is this more cards? Yeah. Look at that. More poker cards, along with some chips. chips. Oh, let's get the microphone. You did. Deal pour, with it. Pour. And down here, look at this. I think I'm saying that's like a full match collection. That's kind of cool. And well, that's another thing of chips. It smells, it smells, like, matches. It smells like matches. I like the smell of matches. What is this? Matches? Uh, uh, I don't know. No. no. What is that? Vernus mat? I couldn't even begin to tell no you. no idea. Alright, whatever that is. Hopefully somebody in the comments will let us know. Wow. And like 80 things and matches. And some like flip It was lighters. a pyro. I smoke tax free at Jack's. Big Joe smoke shop. So, next one right here. This one says Roy's stuff. Roy, I haven't liked your stuff so far, but we're going to try. Yeah. Files. Files. Ooh, a jewelry box with a rock. Well, what kind of rock though? What is this oh, on look. the top? Isle of Man, 50 pence. That, that sounds like a coin to me, but hmm. it's a rock in there. That's strange. I don't understand, but all right. I'm gonna keep this in my pocket. The rest of it looks like office stuff to me. I'm seeing like pens, little pen hey. holders. What? That's signed. Oh, it is. Who's Looks this? like something Williams. 32. Looks oh, like the 32, number. Oh, 32, but this says something Williams, too. I don't hmm. know, 75. Yeah, I don't know anything about the Redskins, but I'm going to set that over here, too. Set that aside. What is in here? A little tool set. Hmm. This thing. A mummy pen. Yep. A mummy. CD. A knife. That's kind of open. Yeah. Pencils, photos, can. Is this like one of those cans people actually used to set on their thing, put their pens and pencils in? Yeah. It even says pens and pencils. Yeah. That's fancy. Yeah, the rest of it's just random awesome. Off, awesome. Definitely not awesome. <laughs> Office stuff. All right, next box here. Come on. Roy. Oh, ooh, it's jewelry equipment. I like the sound of that. What's in this? Oh heavy. Oh, that's taped as well. 
Huh, let's see what's in the little taped up box inside the big taped up box. It is like jewelry equipment. It's more of that stuff. So this must be used something for jewelry or something. Maybe like a seen. polish? I don't know. Because everything else in here looks like it's crafting supplies. So it's got to be something to do with crafting, <laughs> I think. Look at that. Oh, oh, it's in there. The box is just smashed. A 1999 Campbell's collectible Christmas ball. Uh, some fishing tackle. Can we get some lures? <laughs> uh, what's in here? Just more jewelry. Oh, there's a lot of it too. It's marked. So let's see if it's marked like silver or gold or anything. It is. Look at that. Fine silver. What? It's not even sterling. It's fine. So it's not. I'm pretty sure fine means like above. Like sterling's 92.5% silver. Yeah. And I think fine silver is above that. Like it's all silver. Correct me if I'm wrong. Cool. This one's sterling silver. Dang. So what's the gold ones? That's the question. This is sterling silver. Sterling silver. Weird. That's gold to me, but okay. What is in there? 21 gram round sterling silver half pewter bead. Pewter. This is sterling silver too. This is all silver. Literally. This is all silver right here. Just like in its raw form. Or not raw form, but you know. It's not cut into necklaces or made into anything yet. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what else is in here. What is that? Jewelers. Dappling. Or dapping dye block. It's heavy. I see it. Feel it. Here you go. <laughs> you can have it now. To you gotta steal hold it. six phases with various sized dies. So I don't know, maybe it's like to punch the metal. Huh, maybe. Here's the best thing yet. A TV oh, editor. Yeah. What is that? It's a, ooh, stones. stones. <gasps> there we go. Rocks. Uh, I like looking at rocks. Me too. Items inside. Oh, they're like little jewelry pieces. Okay. That. What's in here? Oh, there's stuff in yeah, there. I'll hold that. Can I move this over here to this box yeah. so I can set it down flat? Let's see what's in this little bag. I feel rocks in there or something in there. I'm gonna pull one out. Is it just stones? Oh, look. Whoa. So yeah, I guess they keep them like this and then they break them into little pieces to put inside the metal to make the jewelry. Oh, there we go. Look at these. Like green stones. Look at these blue ones. What are these? Does it say? Mm. And then no, uh, just says get discounts on your next order and stuff. Whoa, you see how many rocks are in there? Cool. There's a lot. What is this one? Amethyst. Ah, amethyst. I love amethyst. Is it? Yep, look at that. Nice. So definitely, definitely we'll have this stuff up in a lot on our auction. What is this? Certificate of ownership, gemstone, fine jeweler. What is it? Oh, it's nice on the front. Let's see. Um, what is it though? Genuine cubic zirconia. Cubic zirconia. Boring. It's supposed to be diamond. <laughs> Not fake diamond. Um, there's rocks in here. Whoa, look at all those rocks down there. There's a lot in here. This is a cool little box. Now let's get back to the main box too. I forgot we didn't even I forgot that was a mini box. <laughs> yeah, that was a mini box in the main box. What's in this? Oh, a little equipment for making it probably. If I had to guess. This is a good box too. Something's in there. Something. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> um, what's this stuff over here? Oh, what is that? This is stupid heavy too. What is this stuff? Like this is so heavy for its size. And other than that, that's all that's in there. So weirdly like a bunch of junk combined with a bunch of precious metal and jewelry rocks. That's how it's stored. I am super excited about this box. It's either gonna be really epic or really stupid. It's super heavy. It's either two crock pots, or if that's a stamp collection, there's tens of thousands of them in there. That thing is ridiculous. Well, I definitely heavy. hope that is a stamp collection because that is crossed off with the red marker. It's. It looks exactly like that. Ooh. There's Whoa. no way there's this many. If that's what this is, this Please. is massive. Let's just look in one of these books. Okay, oh. so a book that you can put your stamps in. Yeah, is that what this is too? Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, right. maybe those are just info books. Hopefully. Official catalog. Don't okay. tell me there's just none in there. Catalogs. Oh, no. This has to be stamps. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. Let's see. Whoa, this is going to George Johnson. Does it have a date on it? 1948. Whoa. Look at some of the dates on these. 
1968. It's the year my dad was born. Uh, these are all going to DC too. 66, 68. That's super cool. This whole thing all the way through. That is like for those Whoa. U.S. history nerds like me. Yeah, that's from the 40s in there too. That looks even older. Like, what's this one say? I can't even find a date on it. There's no way it's 1847. Mm -hmm. I don't see a date go, on it. Go to the next one. Look at this one. That's the one I was talking about at first. Three cent stamps. Now that is epic. That is what cool. I'm talking about for history nerds. U.S. history nerds. What's in here? Let's see. Let's cut the Did tape yeah right here come on give me more no it opens right here doesn't oh, it's it? a book <laughs> i feel stupid <laughs> more oh oh apollo oh. ones whoa these are signed by somebody look at this first day in space it's their first day issue those are the washington stamps right there look at that 1932 we're going back pre-world war ii 1932 again says 1965 these are like some presidents too i see lyndon b johnson oh whoa this is crazy right here this could be a mother load of cash let me put this back in its box really quick let's go on to the next thing that was just the empty box that fell down it's okay national air and space museum whoa <laughs> check that out that's so cool. What are, what's in them? What you see that? Yeah, I know. But well, you can't really see it on camera. But there looks like a black card or something in there. Uh, I don't want to take it out. Should I? Should I take one out? Does it come out easy? Yeah, they slide out. Let's just see. If I have to rip the envelope, I'm not taking it out. Okay. Deal. No, it's, it's open. Let's see what it is. Out of curiosity, then we'll put it right back in there. Whoa. Milestones of flight. It's just like uh, like info. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Can I tell you this unit has about seven humans worth of dust in it. I'm like uh -uh. my lungs are half dust right now. And then we got this thing here. Just another similar book. Let's see if that's what this is. Oh whoa cool. man. 1960s, 1950s, three cent stamps, 1961. They're all even like professionally put in there. The years are labeled on them. This is definitely one of the coolest. I'm not even into this stuff at all, stamps, but I'm even mesmerized by this. Just the historical significance of some of the stuff in here is just incredible. Look at that. I don't even want to like keep playing with it. Let's just put it away right there and set it down here. Gosh, are these all going to be books like that? This is going to be crazy. That's, whoa, what are these? Certificates. These are all here yeah, certificates well, of authenticity. Profit share certificate. Whoa, are these like whoa? Um, Hundred shares of what? mystics profit? No, I don't know. Whoa, these are all shares. Well, look at this. Mystic Stamp Company. Can I just go cash these in? I mean, they're I don't not. Know. They don't have a name on them. I'm gonna go cash it in. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, they're all filled in. Or like. At least 90% filled in. Wow. Now that is awesome. That is so cool. All right, let's just set this down here. We have three more binders. These are all full like that. And then that's just going to be the biggest stamp collection I've ever seen. We're probably talking who knows how much cash. This is like, this is similar to the one we found in another unit. Yeah. But it's like, this one's not all the way filled in. There's still a lot in there. This one, let's say more like... 50% filled in, 50% empty, so not as full as the other one. Two more binders, or one more binder and a couple smaller binders. Let's see, a Statesman. Come here, you ain't getting away from me. And this one has a lot filled in as well, look at that. I mean, a ton of stamps. Now if there's anything in these smaller envelopes, or smaller binders, I should say. Um, This looks like paper and stuff no stamps this one is oh it opens like this nothing uh open stop fighting me nothing these might just have nothing and he might have just got these to make room for stuff he was eventually gonna get but 
loft the storage. Look, I can finally walk inside of the storage unit. You know, there's a lot of junk in this one. I'm not going to lie, but there are definitely hidden treasures in there. And if you want to see what else we find, make sure you come back next time. Peace.